Hey guys, Pablo here. Now, I had to make this video on a very urgent basis and I'm pretty sure the people who have been following the Wall Street videos or watched the Wall Street videos and took part in the pre-sale knows what this is about. So, I had to make this urgent video because there are some stuff that we have to clear out in this video. So, I introduced this project, wallstreetbetsbros.com a couple days ago, I think one or two days ago. It's not been such a long time. And I will admit there was some problem in the pre-sale on the DX sale. The admin of the project also admitted it. There have been a lot of confusion. People were complaining and they were saying that the project is fake. The pre-sale is fake and they were just ranting on the um, admins and all that. So I had to make this video to clear all this stuff out. So I uploaded this video over here. That's right here. And there were a lot of comments on there too, and they're increasing, obviously. It's on 18, actually, it just uploaded today. So, uh, don't worry, I read all of your comments. I don't ignore your comments, I read your comments. So I'm going to reply to those right now. So people were saying that do your own research. I have found no connection to the real WSB subreddit of Discord community, they are not affiliated. And there were other people that were saying that Wall Street IDO after two days on BSR and your description pre-sale link means fake pre-sale link you're given. Uh, so I get it. There were confusion. There were problems. And if you go and check out their Twitter, they have uploaded this video right here where the admin itself has came and explained all the things that happened. So I'm just going to summarize what happened there. So I told you guys that there is a pre-sale on the DX sale and there was. There was a pre-sale and people who took part in it did bought coins on a considerable price and they bought the price. You can get the proof of here in this video right here. The problem that happened was on the DX sale and that was a part of the project, the admin's fault and they are admitting it. He admitted on here in this video that it was their fault that happened. So basically what happened that there was a mix up in the contract on the DX sale and to cover that up, the DX sale itself added some source code into it just to you know manage it, a damage control. Now what happened there is that there were initially 100 million coins but now there are only 80 million coins. So people have been panicking about this. They were calling the project fake. They were renting on the uh, admins of this project. So I'm here to clarify that, that this project is transparent. It is a genuine project. They raised 1000 BNB in the pre-sale. Can you imagine that? In just 27 hours. By the time I was uploading it, it was 24 hours and there is about 500 BNB. And within the next three hours, they managed to gain another 500 BNB and the total became 1000 BNB. So obviously this is a legitimate uh, project. This is not fake. There was some mix up in the contract, but, but you don't have to worry about it because it didn't damage you. It didn't damage the people who invested. It only damaged the project and the developers because their wallet and their airdrops, they are gone now. And people who bought this coin, actually the value of the coin actually increased when the supply got decreased by 20 million coins because when the DX sale made all that, added the source code and stuff to do some damage control, 20 million was just gone. Now what happened since, since the supply got decreased, the value of the coin itself got increased by a percentage. So if you look at it, it actually benefited all the people. The only people that got damaged was the admins. So they are actually, they're devastated obviously but they are admitting their mistake. It happened, there was a mix up, but this is a genuine project. You need to stop calling it a fake project. You need to stop going after the admins. It is a real project. These mix ups happened. And because of this mix up, the people who bought these coins are actually making a lot of benefit. So I think it's actually good for the people who bought this coin. So with that being said, here's a video that you can watch. It'll be in the description too. And if you come over here on the Twitter, you can see DXL record. We raised 1000 BNB in 27 hours. We are going live on PancakeSwap tomorrow, April 18th at 6 p.m. Pacific time. So they are going live on the PancakeSwap tomorrow at April 18th at 6 p.m. So please do not waste any time. Buy these tokens on the PancakeSwap. Since the supply got decreased, the value of the coin itself has been increased a lot. So you can definitely make a lot of good profit from this project. And here's their tweet. All your tokens are worth more now. So if anything, it only profited the people who bought this coin. So with that being said, it's going to explode on Sunday on PancakeSwap and exchanges coming in a few days. These are big exchanges. So 
this project is literally going to the moon. And remember guys, ignore all those imitators. Those have been calling this project fake. It is not fake. There has only been a mix up and that's all. And it's completely transparent. The admins have cleared it out. And those imitators have been going out for this project since the start in the January. So there are now less tokens than originally planned. So everyone who has the tokens in the back in their wallet, the tokens are actually worth more now. So if anything, it is only benefiting the people who bought this. Again, the pancake swap listing is coming today on the Sunday, April 18 at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So do not miss this opportunity and buy these. There's only a limited supply. There's only 80 million tokens left now. So do not waste any time. Disclaimer. Trading digital assets involves significant risk and can result in the loss of your invested capital. You should ensure that you fully understand the risk involved and take into consideration your level of experience, investment objectives, and seek independent financial advice if necessary. It is up to you whether to invest or not. If there is something you don't know, please don't hesitate to ask me. And that is it. So I'll see you guys in the next video.